we are live with a special Yes Network presentation. Ryan Rucco, Sarah Kustak, and now Seth Curry joining us. How are you, Seth? I'm good. How you guys doing? Good, good. Good, so good to see you. Last we saw you, you were battling through an ankle injury and, yeah. and trying to navigate your way, still playing effectively as you did. Ended up having off-season surgery. How are you feeling? Where are you at now? And how needed was that surgery? Uh, it was much needed. It was much needed. I needed to get a couple of things done. Some stuff I was battling for a couple of years. Obviously, stuff that I was battling during the playoffs and towards the end of the season last year. So it was much needed. But um, feeling feeling a lot better. Almost almost back to 100%. Um, getting up and down the court, getting some workouts, and getting my body right and everything. So uh, I'm excited to come back out there and hopefully um, not have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, so we talk about you battling, but you were still lighting it up. I mean, when you look at your percentages, your numbers, everything you did for this team mm -hmm. since coming over, um, we didn't get a chance to talk to you quite as much. But what was it like for you at that point of the season with the trade and just all the changes that occurred with it as you tried to acclimate yourself? It was a little whirlwind. Everything was moving fast, trying to, like I said, acclimate myself. The team was needing to win a lot of games to just solidify themselves in the playoffs. Um, and then jump right into trying to get and integrate new players and trying to get used to my teammates and going right to the playoffs against a great team. So um, it was tough. It was a whirlwind. But at the end of the day, it's basketball. I know how to play basketball. I can figure it out. And uh, I made the most of the opportunities trying to trying to manage, like I said, my injuries and, and try to compete. So um, I learned a lot last year. had a lot of fun. Um, and we're going to retool and get back to it this year. Seth, when you are watching the offseason unfold, and, you know, some things happened offseason-wise <laughs> around this yeah, team. You think? <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience observing Kevin's trade request and to a lesser extent but still relevant, what was going on with Kyrie's contract negotiations? Uh, I was just watching and trying to get healthy and just focusing on myself, honestly. I mean, I, s I see everything, read everything. Um, you wonder about what's going on with the team when it, when you're a player like myself on a last year of a deal and <laughs> like a value contract. I'm always thrown into a lot of different trade conversations. Um, honestly, one of the reasons I'm here. So, um, <laughs> like it's you know like if somebody's getting traded, I could possibly be in it too. So I always pay attention to it. But um, I'm I've been around it enough to know that I just focus on myself, stay ready, and like I said, we're here now and just trying to get ready for the season. So I'm excited. In saying uh, we're here now, I and mean, we heard Kevin talk, Kyrie, Ben, uh, how, do, how do you move forward from that as a group? And obviously there was moving parts last season with, with the lineup and with new pieces. But now that you get set for training camp, you being in this league, you being a vet, you've seen a lot of things. How do you approach that as a group to try and build that type of continuity? Uh, you got to be professional. You got to be professional. You got to be, first of all, you got to come in in shape, ready with your game. And then um, you got to do what the coaching staff ask of you uh, once everybody gets on the floor. And you can't step, skip any steps. You got to get to know each other on and off the floor. You got to get to know each other games. And it's not going to happen overnight, but like I said, it's a process. So um, I, I'll say we got enough, probably more talent than anybody in the league. Uh, we we can do the hard stuff. We can we can uh, create shots. We can make make tough shots. But we got to do the easy stuff with, as far as getting to know each other, playing as a team, and getting our system set. And that starts in training camp. So um, that's that's the part that we're we're going to go into right now. Seth, you played with Ben in Philadelphia. You know Ben's situation is is also part of the reason why you're here now in Brooklyn as a teammate. Though what? can he bring to the table with this group? What do you expect from him on the floor and the way it kind of will complement you and everybody else that you guys have? Yeah, Ben's special, man. He got, like, first of all, when he's on the floor, his size, um, you all of a sudden become a big team when he gets on the floor. You know, a lot of teams don't know who to put, him, put on him, who to guard him with. He can guard everybody. And then he, he picks up the pace, he pushes the ball, creates shots for all different types of teammates. And um, he brings stuff that we didn't have last year. So I'm looking forward to get back on the floor with him. I kind of know how to play with him because it's a little bit different. You kind of got to get used to it. Some guys are going to have to adjust to it, but I know what it's all about. So I'm excited about it. Twofold, real quick. And I know you come from a family of shooters. Who actually taught you how to shoot? <laughs> I just watched. Do you nobody give credit really to anyway, is this nah, nobody really taught me. My dad wasn't back there <laughs> giving us the form and <laughs> giving us shooting drills. We just followed him around, and uh, I kind of learned by just watching him, but through osmosis, really, just being around it and and trying to figure out what worked for me. Uh, your your percentages are are so impressive and incredible in the regular season. But when you look at your postseason numbers and how you shoot from three, it's it's insane. Your psyche, your mentality, your 
ability to be able to come through in moments like that, where would you say that comes from and the foundation um, that puts you in that type of position? Uh, I think it comes from competition. I mean, when you go on the floor, I'm really competitive. Kind of like when the stakes get higher, I kind of lock in a little bit more. Uh, and I just enjoy it. You know, everything is elevated when you get to play. Every possession matters even more. Um, you got to get even better shots. You got to come even more prepared. So that's kind of my mindset coming into the playoffs and uh, try to stick it, stick to that. My same routines, but just try to elevate it even more. And it's worked out for me thus far. Seth, one more thing on the, the health aspect of things. It's interesting because when you're in a position like this where maybe you're not quite ready to go full tilt yet, but it's the start of the season, and obviously you'd like to be ready for game one. How do you kind of deal with that and knowing, okay, I can't skip steps because that's yeah. going to hurt me in the long term then for the season. And if I miss game one, that's okay, but I really want to play game one. How, how are you assessing that and where you're at physically and, and what your goals are right now for when you're back? Uh, first, let's to the training staff. Um, do what they ask, kind of meet their steps as far as when, when I'm able to get back on the floor. Um, I also don't rush it. I mean, there's no rush. Obviously, I want to be ready. I'm competitive. I want to play first game of the season, but um, it's more important to be healthy long term throughout the season, long term throughout my career. And um, I can still get those, do what I can in training camp, do, um, get those mental reps, uh, lock into the to the new system or whatever we're doing. And, and uh, luckily, I've been around and been on a few different systems uh, throughout my <laughs> career. So um, uh, it shouldn't be too hard to learn whatever we're doing. For, for as much as you're talking about system, I think a, a lot of the anticipation was about what the lineup and the rosters may look like for this Brooklyn Nets team. Now that you guys are coming in, what is your expectation with this group and, and with the versatility and moving parts, how you guys may play on the floor? Uh, we're going to play fast. We've got a lot, of, a lot of talent, a lot of skill, a lot of shooting. Um, and like that's one of the good things. But I think once you have a guy like Ben, you can play a lot of different ways. So you can play big, you can play small. Um, him and KD are just like matchup nightmare. So um, like, I said, like I said, they allow you to play a lot of different ways. And uh, for for me, it's that's, it's gonna be interesting to see what the coach staff does with the lineups and and the way we're gonna play the majority of the season. And. For us, it's, uh, like I said, it's our job to adapt to that, get, be, be ready, and, and do what's asked. So I have to let you get out of here on this one. Just after going through everything that you guys did as a group end of last season and then with what happened this off season as well, yeah. you know, what has the just initial feelings been like getting the group back together and, and sort of in this turning of the page, what has the harmony felt like? It's been pretty smooth over the past couple of weeks being here in the gym, guys playing pickup, working out together. It's been smooth. Like, I really missed the beat. Guys are excited. It's a new opportunity. We got enough new bodies here that are bringing a little different energy. You know what I'm saying? So um, I think tomorrow is going to be a, a fun day uh, of practice, real competitive. I think that's, that's another good thing about having a good team. Those practices are going to be intense. So. I, unfortunately, I won't be a part of it, but I'm going to be locked in and, and talking to some guys on the side. <laughs> well, Seth, we appreciate the time. Uh, good luck with the finishing off of the recovery. We hope to see you opening night and uh, enjoy uh, trash talking from the sideline tomorrow. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, right, Seth. Thank you. Seth Curry joining us on Nets Media Day. Ryan Rucco, Sarah Kustak.